Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. Today I'll be participating in the third Thursday Thrift Flips open invite hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at the Southern G. Moore Gals and co-hosted by Lisa at Our Grey House. So don't forget to go in my description box and click the playlist link to see the videos of all of these other amazing creators. So let's get started on my DIYs today. Today, guys, I have some amazing pottery barn and old world style decor dupes for you. I had these vases laying around for years. They were uh, a gift from an ex-boyfriend with some flowers in it. And I'm going to make them over to look like these beautiful pottery barn vases, which are way more expensive than what I'm going to create. And they are going to look just as beautiful even more beautiful so if you have some old vases that an ex-boyfriend has given you guys don't throw them out create a new memory with them <laughs> so first you're going to apply this dex plaster all over the vases you can make a pattern on the vases if you'd like, or you can just smear it and let the texture come as you're smearing it. Here I'm, I'm applying that spackle to both the vases. And guys, you're definitely going to want to wear gloves when you do this. And <laughs> this is very sticky. It'll kind of make your gloves <laughs> stick together too. So once that is dried, I'd let that dry overnight, guys, so it's cured. Then I'm going to sand it with a light sanding paper or a sanding block and that's going to smooth down all those knobbies, get all that off, but the texture is going to remain. So the first two colors I'm going to start out with is this warm white and this warm beige. Now that beige kind of looks more peachy, but first I'm going to wipe down all that uh, dust off the vases. Make sure you do that guys. I'm just using a light damp cloth here. And I have some sponges here and I'm going to sponge uh, the first color on which is the um, warm white that I'm using here. So kind of looks like a cream color. So this was my first color that I put on. And then I put the warm beige on after this which kind of looks like a peachy color. Now if I had my time back, I probably would have put the peach color on first because that's going to be the, or this warm beige as they, they're calling it. I would have probably put that on first because it, it is really peachy. So I just want a bit of that peeking through. Uh, I want the vases to be light as you saw the Pottery Barn vases. They just, they were really light but had those uh, accent colors peeking through. But you're, you're going to apply these colors and if you don't like it, you can put another color on top. So you can see the slight difference there. The one kind of looks peachy. So now I want some rust color uh, peeking through too. So I'm going to make a rust color with orange and brown. And guys, I put way too much paint. I didn't need this much. I just wanted this rust color to be kind of like an accent color. So don't waste your paint. You don't need that much look how much I, I ended up putting some of this in a bottle to save it because i didn't want to throw it out so um yeah don't mix up this much then i'm uh, sponging that on as well and as you can see this is pretty dark compared to the rest of the color so i'm just applying this liberally not as much as i applied those lighter colors so once that's on the two vases i'm going back in with the um, warm beige color so I think it was that peachy looking color so I went back over it with that I still wasn't liking the color so now I'm gonna uh, apply the uh, warm white color on top of that so you're just gonna sponge it all over guys and 
uh, keep doing it until you get the color you want so here I'm going with a cashmere tan color now and this other color by American paint company called Rushmore it's kind of like a, a greenish beige so as all these colors are being layered on here guys you can see how this vase is transforming into something more beautiful than it originally was so all of these accent colors those are going to be peeking through so now i'm going to put this navajo white it's kind of like a creamy white not a pure white so this is going to be my last color guys and all of those other colors are going going to peek through those uh vases I guess this is not my last color. I'm going to put a warm white on top of this. So I think this is my last color, guys. So some of that lighter white is peeking through and all of those accent colors, but all that texture is still showing. So here's the before. It wasn't my style anymore. I didn't want that memory. Here's the Pottery Barn, $283, guys. And look at these. These are gorgeous. You got some of that rust peeking through. You got some of that peach pe pe peeking through, some of the beige. And if you haven't seen my last week's video, I created this pumpkin sign. I put those vases on my mantle to decorate. Look at all that texture, guys. They're beautiful. So if you can't afford to buy those expensive vases, create it for yourself my next diy i have this old bowl in my kitchen that i thrifted i didn't notice the crack in it when it thrift when i thrifted it so i'm gonna instead of throwing it out i thought i'm gonna make it over into something like beautiful like th this that costs way more money and so you see that crack so i'm putting it over a can guys and once again i'm going to use that deck spackle now guys you could probably use like a plaster or, or something as well but I this is what I had on hand so this is what I'm using and I'm just putting it on a turntable there guys so if you have a turntable this will really help you turn your piece instead of having to turn the actual piece you could just turn the turntable and for this one I'm not putting the spackle on the bottom I'm just going to paint that so here I'm putting the spackle along the rim as well putting it inside the bowl as well. I'm going to get that covered up, make sure it's nice and thick, and I'm going to let that dry overnight. Now I noticed the next day, this one was not completely dry inside. As you can see, you see that slight pinkish hue? That's when you know that it's still not completely dry, but uh, you know, it was almost there, but not quite. So uh, I gave it a little bit more drying time and then started on this one. So first I'm going to start out with the warm white on this one and the warm beige again. I was trying to make this bowl to kind of match those vases guys but I didn't match it completely. So here as you can see I'm not using the, the sponge right off the bat. I'm using this brush because uh, when you use the sponge first it some of that white uh, spackling shows through so I didn't want that I wanted the complete coverage first and then I use my sponge so now I'm putting the paint on the bottom to cover up that you know made in China um, on the bottom label on the bottom there so and this time I started out with that peach color and then I put the lighter color on top of that so this is this is what I wish I kind of would have done with the vases now for this one, I'm changing up the colors a little bit. I'm using this, uh, they call it a dark gray, but this is almost like a greenish gray. So I put that as my next color. And as you can see, it's looking really busy there, guys. And so, but don't panic. Sometimes you're like, what the heck am I creating here? This looks really ugly, but it turns out in the end as you keep layering your colors. Right here, I'm using a gold color called Spun Gold. I wanted some gold accents in this one, which is, I think I would have liked to have that in those vases. I should have put some gold in there, but this turns out so beautiful. So guys, I left this in here because I wanted to show you mistakes that I made. See this, as you 
keep putting more paint on if the plaster is not completely dry or you know in between the paint layers the it starts to get wet and the plaster wants to come off but I saved it uh, just pressed it and just added some more paint and then let it dry so you can see really see that gold and that grayish green color coming through now so you know this is too busy for me so I'm gonna lighten it up now by putting the I think I'm putting the warm white on here now well, I actually mixed two colors a warm white and a cream color too so it wasn't really stark white but not you know really beigey cream either so this turned out to be a really beautiful color and all of these other colors of the gold and the the greenish gray are going to come through and this turned out so beautiful guys now I'm putting a little bit of of that spun gold on top and I'm kind of um, rubbing it along those textures guys look at that it's absolutely beautiful so in the reveal I'm gonna show you what it looks like in some different lights and guys you can put some matte clear spray over that once it's cured so guys there's my little cracked thrifted bowl and now it looks like a piece of art and I didn't have to spend six hundred dollars or hundred and sixty nine dollars to get it looking beautiful I created it probably for less than five dollars you can put your rings in this you can just make it decorative make it a decorative piece on its own so here's what it looks like in some different lights the different colors show through depending on the light isn't that texture gorgeous guys so if you haven't made these vases or bowls go ahead and try it guys you will be amazed so this last one guys you are absolutely going to love this i didn't do the spackling on all of this so this is my inspiration some antique bowls with the wood still inside so i'm only going to put the spackling on the bottom of this one guys and uh I'm going to keep the wood on the inside and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make this piece look like that old world style that, you know, antique style from hundreds of years ago. So you'll see how this one turns out in the end, guys. And once you've watched this video all the way through, let me know which one of these dupes was your favorite. And I'll tell you which one was my favorite. So again, I put the spackling on, sanded it down to get all those knobbies off. I wiped it out with a damp cloth to get all that dust off. And now I'm going to be using this fusion color called Ash, a charcoal color, and some black. So I started out with the black. Now guys, you see how I sponged this on. Now that last bowl, I used the brush to put it on because I didn't want any of that white speckling to come through. I did a vase, a really large, large vase a while ago, and some of that white speckling came th through. Like it turned out beautiful. So you see how that white still comes through. So if you don't want that, I would start out with a brush. So I dried that up with a, a heat gun. So if you have a heat gun, guys, and you want to speed up your process, you can kind of use this to, to uh, dry your paint faster so now I'm using my chip brush to do kind of what like what I did with the last bowl because I don't want any of that white coming through so I used the brush went back over it with the black and uh, covered up all those that white that was showing through because I want it to look old without that white coming through so I dried that up and as you can see it's dry because it's matte looking now. Now I'm using that fusion ash color which is kind of like a, a dark ch charcoal gray. And so this is my next color that I'm putting on. I'm sponging that on in different areas. I'm kind of sponging it on like dabbing it and I'm kind of running it across some other areas like where the texture is kind of high so you can you can play around with it guys you can dab you can kind of rub 
you know but make sure your paint is kind of dry because like you saw in my last bowl there some of that spackling could come off if it's not completely dry because if the the spackling gets wet again and it and it wants to come off so make sure it's dry so here i'm using a brown now and once again i'm dabbing it on rubbing it on in some areas over that high texture area oh my gosh this is like starting to look so beautiful look at those colors I, i'm loving all of these colors guys and this will look perfect with that other vase i created and if you haven't seen that video i'll put it in my description box so now i'm putting some black again to cover up some of those colors but you know just to make it look all blended together like it wasn't you know dabbed on with a sponge or rubbed on with a sponge so look at those colors guys bits of that brown bits of that gray are coming through and it's looking more and more like an antique so here i left the inside of the wood bowl as is and uh, i sanded inside guys as you saw in the beginning so now i have some black paint here i didn't have any black stains so i have some black acrylic paint i put some water in there and I probably could have watered it down a little less because it started to dry really fast. And uh, But I had a spray bottle on hand, as you'll see me use here, to um, get the black paint off. So I wiped that out because I didn't want the black inside. I wanted the wood to show through with the black. And this turned out so beautiful, guys. You'll see once it's finished oh my gosh i am absolutely loving this one so let me know in the comments what which one is your favorite so far so this one's not finished yet now i'm putting this gold on the top of this to go with the and it ties so nicely with the black guys what do you think this color is called 14 karat gold and it's a really bright gold and i do have the other gold there that you saw me use which is called the spun gold which i'm going to be using on this bowl as well to kind of tie in with that gold that i put on the top there isn't this looking gorgeous guys i'm absolutely loving this so i went all the way around the rim of the bowl with this gold and that's the only place i put this really bright gold so this is the spun gold i'm putting on now that's the lighter colored gold i'm kind of just rubbing across those high textured area guys and oh this turned out so beautiful i might want to make another one of these look at that guys look at that gold on there and again you can put a clear mat on that plaster after it's cured inside I, i'm putting a black wax just to seal in that wood and you know make it look even nicer so uh, once that wax is dry it's going to be dry into a flat finish so this is what the bowl looked like before i think i paid two dollars for this at the thrift store there's one from wayfair for 143 here's an uh an antique there's one for a thousand dollars and mine costs probably like five dollars look how gorgeous that is guys I hope these vases and bowls gave you some inspiration today. Here I put it on a pedestal so to give it a different look. There's that gold. So I hope these bowls and vases gave you some inspiration. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. This one, guys, was my favorite. And thank you for sharing some of your time with me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.